What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I got some things that I'm shipping out that I've sold on eBay. It is a Sunday evening and I'm getting a head start and then tomorrow morning we will be going thrifting. Of course it's all going to be in one video for you because of the magic of editing. But the first sale here is a really nice one. I picked up these Pokemon cards at a rummage sale I think last year or it could have even been two years now. I paid twenty dollars for them. I just pulled out a few and noticed that they were from 99, they were from the jungle set, they were old, they were in good condition. I was hoping to find a, you know, a hologram or some good cards in there. Got them home and realized that somebody had an eBay printout of how to find your rare cards and sell them. So obviously these were the scraps, they already pulled out all the good cards. But still, this I put up for auction and I sold it for $202.50, it ended up selling for plus shipping for a total of $227.37. Now, when I was doing research on these, I was going to list them, and I kind of thought I had a huge, massive score, because I thought these were first edition, and I had about 25 Pikachu cards, and I'm like, oh my, these first edition Pikachu cards are selling for like $100. There was another variation that was selling for like $200 plus a piece, and I had 25 of them. And then all the other cards here uh, was still like 10, 15. I, I thought maybe I had $10,000 in cards for a moment till I realized that these are not actually first edition. There will be a little symbol that says edition one, I think it is right here. Now there are quite a few edition one cards in here. Just none of the Pikachu was. Uh, so yeah, I'm still going to make some great profit, but yeah, these are, you know, in very good unplayed condition. So somebody bought these are probably going to sell them individually because a lot of these do sell for two or three dollars by themselves and there's over 750 cards in here so if i really wanted to i could probably make more if i wanted to put the time into it i just don't want to list individual cars and ship them so yeah we're going to ship this out some amazing profit on this here we have some goosebumps books these are the last of them uh, I think I sold two two or three other lots. This past year, I picked them up at a yard sale, $7 for quite a few books. This is the least valuable one at $24.99. I think I sold one for $50 and one for like $40. But I'll happily take $24.99. Here I'm shipping out these Merrill shoes. I paid $4 for these at a Salvation Army and I sold them for $30 plus shipping. Next, I'm shipping out this Care Bears stand-up cake pan set from the 80s. This sold fairly quick. I picked it up at a Goodwill. It came out on a new cart, and I grabbed it and a few other things before anyone else could get them. And I uh, sold it for $19.99 plus shipping for a total of $32.65. So here we got some shoes we sold, some Brooks. These are Beast 18 shoes. Picked these up at Goodwill for only $4.99. A great pair of shoes to sell because I got $69.95 plus shipping for a total of $90.33 for a pair of pre-owned shoes. Here is another pair of shoes I sold. These are Red Wing Oxfords. I uh, paid only a dollar for these at Salvation Army. It's one of those pairs of shoes that sat for three weeks until they went to 99 cents the color. So they had them priced, I think, 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. So they were just priced too high. Nobody bought them. They went down to a dollar. I bought them. I sold them for $29.99 plus shipping for a total of $42.85. Next, I'm shipping out this Black & Decker Steam Mop. I paid $40 and something for this at Lowe's. I got five of them. Sold this one for $120 plus shipping. With bulky items like this, I just disclose that they're shipping with the label on the retail box. And we'll just put some tape on the edges to secure it shut. And we'll just slap a label on it. Here we have this IKEA. It's like a cover for one of their pieces of furniture. Found this at a Goodwill for 10 bucks and I sold it for $97 plus shipping for a total of $116.15. I think the way we're going to ship this is just put some cardboard over this part of it and then just slap the label on here. Maybe put some tape across both ends here to kind of help the plastic stay a little more secure so it don't don't tear. That should be fine. The contents are not going to break. They're cushion covers. So I think we're good. So it is the next morning and I had one more sale. 
Sold these wrestling buddies here. I got these at Goodwill. Spent $3.99 a piece on them. Big Papa Pump and Sting. I sold them for $69.99 plus shipping. But look at that. They fit in a 12 by 12 by 12 box. Sting does not look happy to be in there though. He looks very terrified of what's happening. So we are in the first Goodwill and we are looking for anything we can flip. Of course, that's why we're here. And I don't know what that was I was looking at. We traveled out a bit today, got away from the local Goodwills that we've been hitting. Of course, I hit them on the way back anyway, because, you know, the FOMO will keep you up at night if you do not uh, hits the, the hit the stores every day, it seems like. So there's a VCR back there in Orion. It was priced $15. Didn't have the remote. That remote on top of it wasn't for that unit. Not a high-end unit. The Orion stuff usually doesn't sell well for me. So at $15, I just didn't want to mess with it. So we're looking for some decent small appliances. Anything that's rare or people are looking for. Bluetooth under the cabinet. Radio, um, not really worth picking up. It was opened and uh, because of that, you just have to leave it. There's just no money to be made. There's a little remote. I think that was an Apex for a DVD player. Not really worth picking up. And we're gonna dig in here trying to find some cables. You know what I haven't found in a really long time is Rock Band and Guitar Hero dongles. I was finding those so often a few years ago and selling them on Amazon for about $50 a piece, usually only paying a dollar or two. Just have not seen any of those in a very long time. So yeah, I don't know if people are just picking them up or if they're just scarce now, more scarce than ever. So yeah, we're just gonna look over here in the media, try to find a rare video game. There's a off-brand controller not worth picking up. And maybe we can find an NCAA 2014 game worth some pretty good money. It's a sports game. And a lot of people, you know, who are looking for video games, they don't pick that up. Uh, if they're a collector, obviously they know about it and they're gonna pick it up. Everyone loves Raymond DVDs there. We pass those up. Uh, not sealed, not new. Goodwill prices, media up. Like that a lot. So over here in the toys and trying to find a rare toy. And I'm not seeing any. Of course, you can let me know if I missed anything. A lot of people throw some toy tips out to me in the comments a lot. A lot of cartoons and stuff I've never even heard of. Uh, people are like, hey, that toy actually sells. I'm like, oh, I've never even heard of that show. So in this mess of toys, it's hard to pick out stuff like that. So really, I just look for stuff that I know and stuff that uh, looks unique, stuff I haven't really seen or noticed before at a thrift store. That's a great place to start. And if you don't know what a character is on a toy, uh, you can use something like Google Lens to do a search. There's Anakin Skywalker missing his lightsaber uh <laughs> not going to pick him up we got a jump what is that jambalaya i never heard of that game so we looked that one up and it wasn't worth picking up before i left this goodwill a new cart came out and we got some hot wheel cars there and i found an adapter and some print on media so we did end up finding something in here eventually after looking for a bit and i feel like the last three or four times i've been in here i've a new cart's come out and I've found some really good items on it. So maybe that's the key to that Goodwill because it's you know, there's a lot of people that come into that Goodwill. So you really have to be lucky and find that stuff when it first comes out. So there's some vintage dolls from the 60s. I thought those were going to be good. I looked them up. No, they just weren't really worth any money. And Goodwill had them priced up $10 or $15, I think it was. So we didn't want to mess with those. We are in another Goodwill now looking for some awesome electronics here. And this Goodwill usually has electronics and they're usually priced pretty fair. Uh, there's a latch hook kit down there sealed. I thought it was going to be worth money. I looked it up. No, <laughs> not selling for much. And there's a calculator, not a good one. Just sold the vintage calculator I picked up recently for $200. So that was nice. So we gotta check calculators. Uh, there was a Sharp VCR, but look at this. Uh, unbelievable. A new inbox Coco Motion sitting down there. I just found one of these like a week before in the last haul video, I think it was. Um, not new. Uh, so finding one new is pretty amazing. So I did end up picking up this Sharp VCR for $4.99 and it was a good pickup. But we are in the next Goodwill now and we are 
looking again at the electronics and small, small appliances. There's a microwave and right here, a sealed Microsoft mouse for $4.99. I'm definitely picking that up. Sealed mice, Microsoft, Logitech, sealed keyboards. They're good money. You'd be surprised at what those sell for. Now, you get a lot more money on Amazon. I know a lot of new sellers out there find it hard to sell on Amazon because of all the restrictions now. Uh, but you can still make some money on that stuff if it's new sealed on eBay, uh, especially when you're only paying $4.99. So always look that stuff up. Here we have a Mr. Coffee. It's been open next to it. What is that there? Dehydrator or salad spinner of some sort? I don't know. I ran over here because some new cards came out. I saw and wanted to check those. Got a stacks of puzzles here. I noticed one sealed Disney Expressions puzzle. Would have been a great puzzle if it was on Amazon, um, but still a good puzzle for eBay even. $4.99, got this TomTom. Tom. I looked up the model. Not a good one to sell, an older one. So we did end up leaving that. And yeah, some other puzzles look like probably from the same person, but those were not sealed. And I, it's very rare that I mess with a puzzle that's not sealed. It really has to be worth it. And actually we'll be talking about that here in a minute because we see one that's almost worth it. So over here in the video games, I'm looking in there. Look at this, a Wii Sports. There's no way it's going to be in there, is it? There it is. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that was sitting there. Again, video games, for me, they're just picked so heavily. You rarely find anything worth picking up. Uh, I, I sell those for about $30 on Amazon, the Wii Sports. So yeah, a great little pickup there. And I didn't see anything else, any other good media. So we head over here to the toys and we got right up here is a Aladdin puzzle movie poster vintage. And I've sold a used DuckTales poster puzzle before on Amazon for $50. I checked the, the, the Aladdin one there and it just really wasn't worth it. I think maybe $25, maybe 20 pre-owned. Uh, I just didn't want to count the pieces and deal with it. The boxes was kind of beat up. It was taped. You know, you don't know the condition of the puzzle pieces. Maybe you could make a little bit of money. You know, I would never fault someone you know, for buying it and counting the pieces and spending the time to do it because there is a little bit of money there. I just decided to leave it. So you're looking at the cards. Don't sleep on the cards. You never know. There's some card game bolos out there. I've talked about them in the past on this channel. So now we are in another Goodwill. And we got a bread maker down here, Breadman Plus. It's like, ooh, this is looking nice for $5. I can part this out, get some pretty decent money. But we dig a little bit deeper and we realize the paddle is missing, which the paddle can sell for $20, $25 alone, I believe, for this model. Even the books there can sell for $10. Um, Could have made a little bit of money maybe, but with it missing the paddle, I just decided to leave it. We got those typewriters down there, still priced $50, $60. <laughs> I don't know why they're priced that high. No one's going to buy them. And we're just looking at the speakers. No high-end speakers. I don't like to sell speakers unless they're good speakers. Um, they're annoying to test, ship, and all that. But you know, if they're worth it, I'll still do it. Over here, we got this nice little portable typewriter. And this would have been a good pickup, but it was priced high. And you could have made a little bit of money on it, but you got to buy an ink ribbon you got to test it and uh clean it and all that and you know you only make like twenty dollars after you paid i forget what it was now i think 30 or 40 dollars so yeah we just leave it because we don't need to mess with it and there was a door chime i i did not end up picking that up it was sealed but it just really wasn't selling on amazon or anywhere there's a skylander sealed for 99 cents scanned it you know just not worth picking up no money to be made Got some Fisher Price toy, only 99 cents. I thought this might be good. We looked it up. Unfortunately, no. Uh, I don't remember if this was actually new. I don't think it was. Uh, but even new or used, I don't think it would have been worth picking up. And there's some sort of game called Code. I don't think that was worth anything. Checking the bags, trying to find something hidden inside the bags. Found some great scores in those bags. But now we are at the local Goodwill. And look at this. Found a stack of new DS games and there was a few good ones in there. So I grabbed those. Over here in the toys is a PlayStation um, steering wheel. Unfortunately, it was just a little priced a little too high and dirty and messed up to worry about buying. So again, it's one of those things that you have to test and everything thoroughly. 
you know, to make like $20, it just wasn't worth it to me. So, plus I got like two or three of those <laughs> in storage I need to test. So yeah, let me go home, show you what I got. So we have another amazing haul here. The good hauls have just been coming in, I feel like, almost every video. Every day I'm wondering, when's this great streak going to end? When am I going to have a week of thrifting where I only find one or two things and I can't actually make a video because I don't have enough stuff to show? But let me jump into everything we got here. Let's just start back here in the corner. We got some Dub City cars, some Hot Wheels, a Matchbox car, and I picked these up blind. I have bought many Hot Wheels and many cars like this in the past. It's just I'm more picky when it comes to that. This one was good. They all came out on a new cart and I grabbed them and I said 99 cents a piece. I can't lose on these. They look like they're special ones. They're not just basic Hot Wheels. Even though I grabbed that basic Matchbox car and it's really not worth selling. But some of these are selling really good. I think it was this one that was sold for $35 plus shipping. Uh, there was $25, $25, like $20. Uh, some of these Dub Cities were selling in pairs for like $30. Uh, others were selling by themselves for 20 So good stuff here. I should make almost certainly over $100, but we'll just estimate $100 on these cars here. Had a good day with video games. We picked up some Nintendo DS games. I definitely was the first one to go through these because games get picked really fast and good ones are gone pretty much instantly, it seems like, at thrift stores. We got this Fossil Fighters, which I think I picked up at a garage sale two or three years ago. It's probably in my collection. I don't remember if I ever sold it. This is selling on Amazon for about $40 used. This one, Tomodachi Life Nintendo 3DS game is selling for about $40 used on Amazon. It's complete and in mint condition inside. They had them taped shut. Of course, we opened them before we bought them because we don't want to get any dirty surprises. I just picked up this Astro Boy for $3.99. He's not worth a whole lot, but I figured, you know what? This is a more unique DS game. It's not shovelware. It's not like Hannah Montana's Adventures or something like that. So we went ahead and grabbed Astro Boy, the video game. Just kind of throw that in the collection. Probably won't sell that one. Then we picked up a Wii Sports. I'll probably sell this on Amazon. The last one I got like this, I sold on Amazon. I think I got $30 for it. Then next, we got this Expressions Puzzle. Scan this, and unfortunately, the UPC is connected to a Pinocchio Ex Expressions Puzzle. It's selling for about $50, $55. This one I couldn't find. I did a manual search. But on eBay, it looks like I can still sell this probably for $20, maybe even get $25 for it. So for $1.99, I'm picking it up. Right below here, we got the Amazing Race DVD board game. I recently sold one of these on Amazon. I forget what I got for it. Seems like around $40, was it? They have a little bit of high of a rank, but if you price it right, explain the conditions very well. They'll move. This right here, I'm regretting buying. Uh, probably should just put it back. $2.99, it's some sort of Mr. Heater fuel filter. This is restricted on Amazon. Otherwise, I could sell it for $25 eBay. They're selling for about 14, 15 max. I should make money on it and it's gonna be easy to list. I'm just worried that it was over first class shipping. I guess it's probably not. In the end, I'm probably realistically only gonna make about $5 on this selling it on eBay. Got a remote at Salvation Army, paid $1.99. This is an Emerson remote. I believe it works with some Magnavox units as well. Looks like I can sell this for about $25, $30 on eBay right now, or I should say Amazon. It's in very good condition. Uh, eBay, I think they're only selling for right around 20 bucks. We got this Lux Skin laser hair removal thing. You know, I saw it in a bin at Goodwill and I said, let's look it up. I knew these are selling for around 60, close to $70. Not a whole lot of comps on used ones. The new ones are, you know, selling very quickly. In fact, I think there's only one left on eBay for sale. So I should be able to move this for about $25, I'm thinking. Here is a Panasonic VHS camcorder charger. I'm hoping this fits one of the ones I picked up recently. I picked up a couple. I needed to order one anyway. So hopefully that works. I can charge the battery and test it, maybe bundle it. But uh, it's kind of questionable if I want to do that because this thing is selling for around $40. $45 on Amazon. Don't sleep on adapters, especially selling them on Amazon if they go to something that people need. There are a lot of Chinese companies that are mass producing reproductions of these, but people still want the actual Panasonic brand name chargers, so they'll pay up for them. Picked up some more of these Thor figures. What was it, like a couple of weeks ago, Salvation Army had a 12 or 13 of these for 99 cents. They've doubled the price since then, but I picked up 
like 12 of them. I think I was making about $14, $15 profit on Amazon. And I went in there and they had 10 more. And these are straight out of a box. Definitely out of a retail box because they're so crisp. And just the fact that they had so many, probably some store donated them all when they went clearance or whatever. They're not super fast movers. I think like a 300,000 rank in toys. Uh, so, you know, over the next year or two, I'll probably just slowly move these. But I should make at least $100 between these. I got 10 of them. Right below, we picked up some sealed media, a three-pack, TDKAQ, VHS tapes. Not a whole lot of money in these anymore, like the great old days of buying VHS tapes. And I remember buying eight packs sealed and selling them for about $90 to $100 on Amazon. They, they're still worth picking up. You can still make money on them. This pack right here, I'm going to make $6 profit on Amazon. There is a sealed Microsoft Mobile Mouse 3000. I don't know what it is about sealed mice like Logitech and Microsoft stuff. That stuff goes for great money. You think people wouldn't be buying this older kind of tech, but it does sell for a good amount, especially on Amazon. I have sold Microsoft keyboards, ergonomic keyboards for close to $200 used. I've sold mice like this new for around 80 to 100 bucks. And that's probably what I'm going to price this one at. Probably a hundred bucks on Amazon. There's currently no one selling it. And I think I'll get that because it looked like they were selling for $30, $35 on eBay even. Next, we got some TDK CDR media. Unfortunately, these weren't on Amazon. But what makes these special? They're print-on. These used to sell for a lot more too. You know, I'm probably going to make about $15 on eBay with this. Right here, we got this preschool calculator from 1973. I just decided to pick this up because it was old. I think it's new in there. I popped it open to check and make sure the cards were in there. And it's got like this plastic film over the top, like it's never been used. But I could not find any comps for this at all. A couple of similar items were selling for about $25, it looked like. We got Mr. Coffee Cocoa Motion. Isn't it crazy how I just bought one of these last week? That one I paid $2.99 for. This one I paid $10 for. And Goodwill had the box tape shut. Didn't bother to open it. That's a bad habit. I should have definitely opened it. But after I got home, I opened it and saw that it was new and never taken out of the box, which is great because these things sell amazing new. So I'm going to be able to sell this, I think, for $125 new open box on eBay. Almost forgot about this Sharp VHS player. I paid $4.99 for it. No remote, but if it works, I'll sell it on eBay for $49.99 plus shipping. We got a couple clothing items here. This Polaris snowboarding uh jacket vintage nice 90s bright colors there and uh, the only bad thing about this is it's a men's small and i find that the small sizes don't do as well as the, you know the the very large sizes nonetheless i paid uh 6.99 for this at goodwill and it looks like i could probably sell this for about 50 dollars plus shipping and then here we got this cleveland indians jersey majestic and really, I couldn't find any comps on this exact one. Jerseys really confuse me. I'm no expert on them. Every time I find a unique one, I, I try looking them up and I just see all these variations. One variation is selling for, you know, $200 and another one that looks the same to me is selling for $20. And they're hard to research. It takes more time than a lot of items. So this one, I, I done a search for Cool Base. I done a search for Engineered exclusively for the Cleveland Indians. Uh, some came up, but not this d particular design. So, you know, I don't know. I paid $4.59 for it. And I don't know what I'll get. There's no name on the back. It's just a blank. Feel free to leave in the comments all the experts of jerseys and clothing and all that. You can let me know. Um, I'd be happy for any advice on this. But, you know, I think I could make at least $20 on it. But there it is, everybody. Wow, I did not realize this haul was going to be this good. What really made it better than what I thought was the fact that these cars were worth so much. And uh, the Mr. Coffee Coca Motion was actually new inside. It's too bad it wasn't new uh, sealed and box was in good condition because I probably could have got about 25 30 more dollars for it But we are really nitpicking um, if we're gonna complain about that aren't we that's it for the video everybody Thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it hit the like button on the way out ring that bell So you'll know when my videos are live and you won't miss any find me on Twitter Instagram flipping underscore junk And this has been wick till next time